He's published a few works of historical fiction. The clans Shattershield and Kulsi see most of the gold that passes through the city. Mm. And obviously you have Ulfric, the Jarl and future High King. Oh, and that busybody Viola Giordano. She's got her nose in everyone's business, which I guess is one way of being prominent. Mm -hmm. Well, nothing. At least not anymore. Folk just call me that because of what I used to do. I was a sailor for many a year. I made my coin as a trader, and in time, I bought my own ship. When I retired here in Windhelm, most folk already knew me as Captain Lonely Gale, and the name just stuck. I see. Fair winds and calm seas. That's an old sailor's party. I'd travel more, but who wants to deal with all the soldiers these days? Hmm. I retreated as bad as the Dark Elves. It was difficult at first. The Nords of this city are at best suspicious of outsiders. But in time, I made the right friends and proved myself useful enough that they don't give me trouble anymore. The Dark Elves are too proud and naive to understand the way things truly are, and so they continue to dwell in that slum. I see. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your custom. The townsfolk called me Captain, because I used to be a sailor. You one of those Skyrim for the Nords types? Nope. And you're right, at least as far as I'm concerned. Don't let Ulfric or some of these other short-sighted Nords bother you. Most of us are happy to welcome newcomers. Mm. Uh. Ulfric doesn't care about outsiders. Whenever a group of marauders attack a Nord village, Ulfric is the first to sound the horn and send the men. But a group of dark elf refugees gets ambushed. A group of Argonians or a Kaji caravan. No troops. No investigation. Nothing. There's a group of cutthroats out there right now that Ulfric doesn't lift a finger to bring to justice. As long as they don't threaten Nord land. Mm, what if I took care of those bandits? That's a brave offer. I'd be happy to throw in my coin behind that. You deal with them. I'll make sure you get paid. Maybe this old soldier will throw in some lessons as well. Nice. Show those marauders what Windhelm just I lost my twin sister a while back. Have you ever lost anyone close? Nope. It's no secret that Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. But who's going to stop him? Me? I'll have no part of that. Hmm. Are you scared? Working in Wendhelm is great. I get to see Ulfric up close. Sounds like you really admire him. Every Nord should admire Ulfric. He fights for all of us. In fact, he's the reason I chose to learn the smithing trade. I want to make weapons and armor for the Great Stormcloak army. Yeah, yeah. A word of advice. Don't buy discounted armor. Everyone says Jorland Greymane is the best smith in Skyrim. I plan to change a few minds about that. Hmm. The finest weapons and armor. Still no ebony stuff, huh? Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. Okay. Everything's fresh and delicious. Sell them. 
Vermeer's become a decent. Take a look. Of course I am. What do I look like, a tavern wench? Ah, uh, don't let my words cut you too deep. I've just been working the forge too hard, trying to set this sword right. Jarl wants it to look like an ancient blade. High Queen Friedis ruled over Windhelm in the Second Era, and her sword was legendary. Getting the real sword would be even better than making a copy. But no one wants to risk getting it from its resting place. If you find that sword, Traveler, I'd be grateful. Sure. Don't forget. Find Queen Freydis' sword. I'll reward you. Okay, and now it's Ernestine boy. My swords in their hands. Men will send those dogs. My job's simple enough. The dead don't really. Luckily, Windhelm is cold, so the dead don't rot as quickly. Sometimes the burial has to wait. All of the dead, huh? There seems like there's always some sort of quest with this hall of the dead. So let me explore if there is anyone who needs help. Seems like there is nothing here. No, Woodward. I came in a soul. My heart goes out to Clan Shattershield. Kin murdered, family warhammer stolen. There is no fairness in all that. I have to wonder, what does the Dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thune be taught like any skill? Let me show you. What? Uh, whatever. I have to wonder, what does the Dragonborn do what? once he's summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thune be taught like any hey, skill? Hey, you didn't what look. You didn't look. Crazy old witch. Yeah, we'll talk to Ulfric later. Where does this little boy, Leo? There. Okay. Let me see. Then it's true what everyone is saying that Aventus Artino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, Grimbar, always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine, then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child, wait! That boy, that house, they are cursed. Ha! Then I'm right, I knew it! He's trying to have somebody killed! All right, I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Oratino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I 
am the only friend you need. Hmm. I try to keep Grimvar safe. Hmm, yes. It is quite sad. A young boy, Aventus Aretino, lost his mother recently and was sent to an orphanage. But he has returned home, and people have heard strange chanting. They say it's the Black Sacrament, the ritual to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Why a little boy would want to contact a group of murderers is beyond me. But he is inviting evil into this city. Yeah, so yeah. Travels. Come on, now he's low, can I? Sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. You've come at last! I knew you would! Are you alright? It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the black sacrament over and over with the body and the things. And then you came, an assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. Hmm. You may silence. You don't have to say anything. There's no need. You're here, so I know you'll accept my contract. Contract? My mother, she... she died. I... I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften. Honor Hall! The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the kind, but she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us. So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you could kill Grella the kind. Okay. Riften. Okay. Where are those two? Hmm. Yeah, on the way to Riften. Boat. But I have almost some companion. What is this? Oh, maybe someone would wanna fight. Got some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. Did you see the candle above the fire upstairs? And then goes. It was lit 163 years ago, back when this building was the home of a grand warrior named Vundheim. When word came that he'd fallen, his son Durot lit the candle in his honor. Nobody knows why it still burns. Okay. Enjoy your stay, and don't break nothing. <laughs> 